All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores. And last video, we had some good news, some bad news. Today, pretty much just straight up bad news. I'm not going to lie, man. Our offensive line, already playing poorly, is getting worse just from injuries alone, man. So we're going to have to figure some things out. So first of all, center Chase Roulier, who was already on temporary IR with this injury that he suffered a couple of weeks ago, now is having right knee surgery that will likely be season-ending. So at first there was a chance it would be season ending and then we got news that he would go on temporary ir which will only requires you to miss four weeks minimum just to see where he's at and it sounds like now with the surgeries that he's getting we'll probably lose him for the year so there goes our starting center also our starting right tackle and samuel cosme underwent thumb surgery today so now we got to talk about what our offensive line even looks like right now starters and just overall depth who do we even have available in this upcoming game against the titans what's our offensive line probably gonna look like also the washington commanders made a few roster moves that included offense alignment non-starters but we'll also talk about that as well in the update but before we dive into all of that make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get notification immediately and every time i release an informative and opinionated video just like this one make sure you pull up every sunday for the during the game live streams where i break down everything live that's going down including this upcoming game against the tennessee titans and of course make sure you pull up for the post game live streams either after the stream during the game or the following day as in monday without further ado let's get it All right, so like I said, Washington Commander Center Chase Rulier will undergo surgery on his right knee. It's going to actually go down on Thursday. Rulier, who was placed on injured reserve on September 20th, waited for the swelling in his knee to subside before getting a second opinion. However, the belief all along was that he'd eventually need surgery. One source said Rulier would not return this season. Remember, he tore his MCL in the 36th to 27 loss against Detroit week two on September 18th and it's just really bad man just another year with him missing the majority of the year we just went through this last year with him sadly and he actually got hurt sooner this year than he did last year he's gonna play less this year than he even did last year and last year he was gone a long time and then now this also means we're on to our third starting center now granted we should be getting Tyler Larson back He's supposed to be activated off of the pup list. Remember Chase Young and Tyler Larson started the season on pup list and Brian Robinson started the season on NFI. We're more than likely getting Brian Robinson back and Tyler Larson against these Tennessee Titans, but nothing's absolutely 100% certain right now. But it's expected that Tyler Larson, at the very least, technically our second string center, should be ready to start against the Tennessee Titans, hopefully. But if not, that means we're going from Chase Willie, our starting center, to Wes Schweitzer, our starting center, who's on temporary. IR with a concussion injury situation that he's dealing with to Nick Martin being our starting center and then now if Tyler Larson's healthy enough that will be our fourth starting center this season going into a game not only just the fourth center that's played but the fourth starting center going into a game and it's only week five of the NFL season that's terrible but if Tyler Larson isn't ready to go even though he should be activated off of the pup list this week Nick Martin will be our starting center for the second week in a row his first start coming against Dallas but he's a veteran veteran that's played in a lot of different places as a starter so when in doubt he's not terrible he's not John Toth but ideally you prefer to have Chase Roulier, Wes Schweitzer, or Tyler Larson over a Nick Martin potentially which is crazy I never thought I'd say I prefer Tyler Larson over a center that's on our roster but from what I've seen so far from Nick Martin hasn't necessarily been bad but it also hasn't been very good as well and you know at the very least if Tyler Larson's back even if Nick Martin is a better center, at least you have Tyler Larson as a backup rather than it being what? Sadiq Charles right now? Wes Martin? And practice squad wise, we don't really have any centers because an update that I wanted to get to was the fact that practice squad wise we released John Toth which I'm just surprised he even made the practice squad because he was out there getting beat bad against Ravens third and fourth stringers in that third preseason game but we released John Toth and then we signed guard Keaton Sutherland to replace him so maybe he comes with a little bit of center experience I'm gonna have to look into his profile to see if he does because it's weird to release a center and assign a guard especially while you're having all of these center injuries that we're dealing with so I'm assuming Keaton Sutherland is being brought here as a super reserve 
reserve center. I'm just assuming. Sadiq Charles, remember this offseason, took a couple of snaps at center in practices, but never really has given it a real chance so far in his life, really. Even in college, he was a pure tackle. And then we brought him here, and he's been mostly a guard, a little bit of tackle. And then this offseason, we tried him at center just a little bit. So he is not ready to go out there and start at center for us. So right now, we just really have no answers outside of Tyler Larson coming back and Nick Martin, who we just signed a couple of weeks ago. But even just, let's go back a little bit. Let's just look at the starting offensive line right now that's projected going into this Tennessee Titans game. Again, if Tyler Larson isn't ready to start going from left to right you have charles leno at left tackle andrew norwell at left guard nick martin at center sadiq charles at right guard and cornelius lucas as your starting right tackle so if there's an injury to cornelius lucas because he's supposed to be a backup swing tackle and with samuel cosby projected to miss this game against the tennessee titans and maybe even more than that cornelius lucas now moves from your backup tackle to your starting tackle but that's a weird situation because after that technically on the depth chart they have sadiq charles as your backup tackle we literally have nobody after Cornelius Lucas, so I'm not even sure who they're about to elevate to the active roster for this game to at least be a backup tackle right now. I mean, if you look at the practice squad, you have Alex Akambulu, who I do like. I liked a lot of what I saw from him in the preseason. Maybe they signed the guy off the street, but as of right now, we literally have no backup tackles because Sadiq Charles, who's technically our backup tackle according to the depth chart, and I mean, realistically, he kind of is, even though he looks better at guard, but right now he has to start at right guard. And then after that, who's his backup? I guess Chris Paul, who is yet to be active at all this season. An NFL game in his career so far, he's never even been active on game days. We already have Chase Roulier, Wes Schweitzer, and Willie Bevers as interior offensive linemen that are already on the injured reserve, whether it be temporary or long term. And then going back to the practice squad, the only interior offensive lineman that we have is Keaton Sutherland. And I mean, technically, Alex Akambulu started at guard for us in that Kansas City Chiefs pre season game so maybe that's technically interior offensive line but again with our offensive tackle depth right now he may be our backup tackle going into this titans game so our offensive line depth is in shambles right now that is easily and by far our most hurt position group right now it's bad even with Jahan dawson potentially going to be out for a week or two including this titans game and even possibly the bears game after that and we may not see him until the green bay game after that right now our offensive line is by far the most hurt position group on our team i mean it's really bad I mean, honestly, our starting lineup is Charles Leno, Andrew Norwell, Nick Martin, Sadiq Charles, and Cornelius Lucas. And even after that, who's the backups if either one of them gets hurt? I highly doubt all of these guys make it unscathed throughout the game. So who's going to step up in their place? I guess only answers I have interior offensive line wise is Tyler Larson coming back. So maybe that's a center. You finally have Chris Paul active, your seventh round pick from this past draft. And then maybe you elevate Alex Akambulu from the practice squad to be the backup tackle. That's the only answers I have right now. And again, this offensive line has not only been the most hurt part of our team, but also the worst. Even outside of the injuries, they've just played the worst. And so now a really bad offensive line that hasn't been able to protect Carson Wentz to save his life will probably play even worse moving forward. Now, granted, the Tennessee Titans do have a good defensive line, but it's not the Cowboys or Eagles. So maybe that should help us a little bit. But I don't know, man. I'm definitely a little worried about this offensive line situation. It's very ugly. And then before we get up out of here, let me go ahead and make this last announcement. Speaking of injuries, the commanders have announced the hiring of a new assistant trainer and physical therapist, Lindsay Gately. The Washington Commanders announced today that Lindsay Gately has been named to the role of assistant athletic trainer slash physical therapist. Gately is the first full-time female member of the athletic training staff in franchise history, so definitely clap it up for that. She will report directly to head athletic trainer Al Bellamy, who as of right now, I don't know how good of a job he's doing because our offensive line is in shambles, but I mean, it's a lot of different factors. The field, you can blame a lot of it on the field. You can just blame a lot of it on a lot of different various factors. I mean, bad luck, wrong place wrong time but as of right now i'm not sure how good of a job al bellamy is doing right now with this beat up this team is especially with the fact that we still haven't seen cole turner yet how did this hamstring injury turn from like a maybe he'll be out one or two weeks to like a eight week 
going on to almost three months thing where we still haven't even make his rookie debut right now like what's going on right now for real with just the entire team injury wise but Rivera spoke on the hiring he said quote we are excited to welcome Lindsay to the Washington Commanders organization where she will join a great team led by Al Bellamy the health and safety of our players is our top priority and she will help us build on this emphasis with her tremendous experience at both NFL and NCAA division one level unquote and I man I hope she comes with the formula I hope she brings the Bugs Bunny secret water from Space Jam that they use at halftime. I'm going to need them to bring every remedy. If they got to use magic, voodoo, whatever, figure out this injury situation. Whatever she can bring to the table and it helps, please bring it. Because we need it in the worst way right now, especially this offensive line. Because, again, this offensive line has already been bad this season. It looks like it's only probably going to end up being worse moving forward until we get some of these guys back. But a lot of our starters and even the backups that were supposed to start in their place are now all hurt. And they're not even just hurt like a one to two week thing. They're like four weeks at minimum type of thing it's bad so yeah man i wish i had some really good news really outside of the hiring of lindsey gately outside of that it's really just all bad news today but of course this is rico of street scores i'm very optimistic about this team and hopefully we can make a turnaround like i said maybe even though the tennessee titans do have a good defensive line it's not as potent especially pass rush wise as the eagles and cowboys so maybe this is a good week for us to bounce back and get some things going offensively but we'll see man but yeah man that's the end of this video please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video please leave a like if you liked it if you learned anything definitely let me know how you feel about this injury situation especially this offensive line wise and man i appreciate all the support man shout out to all of my sponsors especially my pro bowl sponsors whose name you see scrolling on the screen right now i'm gonna catch y'all later i'm out <laughs>